Good morning, Germany. It is certainly is quite obvious <coughs> that this place is further safe than Norway because it's actually quite pleasant outside. So this is a campsite for the first night in Germany. Uh, random field out in nowhere. I don't think I'm bothering anyone. They've already done the business with a field. It's just growing new grass. So I don't think I'm in the way. I'm not in the slightest. I just had a visit by a nice German police officer. Apparently someone called the cops on me for staying on what's apparently private property. Whoops. That was my intention. They told me to get lost, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're just going to head uh, pretty much straight onto the E45. Uh, trying to stop by McDonald's, have a cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, we'll be heading to the Netherlands. I should be making it today. Alright, so having moved off the private property as per the police officer's request, uh, let's just move on. So my target for the day uh, is a place in the Netherlands where a viewer uh, might want to meet up. I'm not certain if he's going to make it due to time constraints, but it's a good enough target. It's along the route, so let's leave the free Wi-Fi area and uh, move on. It's not going to be very obvious on the camera, but Germany, at least for this road, the E45, has a really odd uh, surface. It doesn't look at all like a normal asphalt or tarmac. It looks more like concrete almost, and it's got this uh, quite uh, quick uh, kind of wavy motion to it. You're constantly going up and down and up and down, like bomb, 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 bomb. I knew someone told me that the Germans use like some kind of odd concrete road. I'm not certain this is it, but it is something new, that's for certain. And something which is new from coming from up north is sunshine and it's it's hot. It's actually warm weather. Quite pleasant. It's it's not too humid, it's just hot and warm, excellent, really nice. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting uh, the, the climate difference to be so obvious, but uh, uh, it's still summer here, right? You've got bunkers in the air. You don't have that. Uh, even in Denmark, Mark, there were no bunkers. Uh, but uh, here in Germany, there are bunkers. Uh, just due to the fact that it's so warm still in September. I think it's the 19th today or something like that. So it's nice. Warm. Very nice. Alright, this is quite impressive. Uh, Hamburg is by far the biggest city I've ever been close to. In fact, I've never seen a traffic jam in my entire life. Huh. Good thing I'm on the other side. Another team of Danish street lamps, I think. Oh wow. This is pretty cool. Never seen power lines that big, this close to civilization before. Nor windmills. There seems to be some industrial outskirts, I've got no idea where I am. Probably along the U45 still. Wow. Feels like something out of Half Life 2. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I'd get some use out of first gear on this thing. Four kilometers an hour. I don't even have to use the clutch. Look at that. All right, I wait towards Bremen. Uh, I am constantly staggered by the sheer size of these German highways. Three lanes, four lanes, it just keeps on going. I'm just waiting for a final five lane one. Probably might have had a short section of that already when I think about it. Very good for the infrastructure, though. But they all have this weird bumpiness to them. Low road noise, but they all go bumpity bumpity bumps. Ah, excellent. I finally found a proper tax store restaurant thingy. So I've gotten some more stickers. Some Mr. Sticker for Denmark. I couldn't find any shopping malls around the long road. I got to Germany and 
I hope this is a Netherlands one. Uh, I figured I'd get one prematurely just in case I miss the Netherlands as well. I don't remember the Belgian flag, so I uh, don't remember. So I didn't get one because I didn't want to put the wrong flag on. And a couple of spare lighters because I only have one. Figured it's worth two euros to have guaranteed breakfast. Oh, coming from Norway and Denmark and Sweden and stuff, these prices are absolutely insanely late. So, like you, you can all read that burgers, basic burgers, 850. That same burger, I guarantee, would be at least 12 euros in Norway with 8 a date. And you have to get out of really fancy burgers in order to get up to that and waffle guns. Free double cheeseburger for 14.90. That's what you'd pay for anything in Norway. It's insane. And that's an 8.50 burger. And it's probably the best burger I've had thus far. I can see the sense. Something's gone very wrong up ahead. Hannover stark bewirkt 16 Braunschweig bedeckt 17 Grad in Göttingen. Es ist auch bedeckt bei 15 Grad und Braunlage. It seems we're having a bit of a break. This is standing absolutely still. No sign of movement. None whatsoever. coming up on some kind of info. I've been sitting here for a better part of an hour now. Uh, it's not telling me a whole lot. 7.5 ton trucks to the right. Keep left. Something's wrong. No shit something's wrong. This isn't doing 130. Although I could be wrong. No, I'm right. Finally, some real info. One kilometer, two lanes turn into one. Oh. I've asked for police. Hopefully, not out to get me this time. I noticed it's a very good idea to keep very, very far to the left because there have been huge support vehicles and police and ambulance passing. Like a giant cranes which you normally take up a lane and a half passing through three lanes of traffic on the middle lane. Well a hundred, that's not gonna happen. Oh, that's half a kilometer. Took about half an hour to get here. And I think that guy's having some issues too. Jesus, what's he burning? Is that oil or just bad gas? It's blue, <laughs> it's oil. Jeez, he's gonna have to stop soon. <laughs> oh God. This smells awful. Oh, it's a Chrysler. What do you expect? Oh, come on now. Couldn't you have emerged behind me? All right. That's definitely the accident that's been causing all this trouble. No question about it. Something big must have gone off a road to demand such a big crane. Wow. It's speeding up now. There's a lorry, there's a police car. There's the open road. Finally, that took a while. Seems a lorry went off the road 